They say gold is eternal, incorruptible, untouchable by time, and immune to decay. But the methods humans have used to recover it, those have always come at a price. For centuries, mercury and cyanide have poisoned rivers, stripped landscapes, and stolen the future from communities who never even touched a single nugget. What if there were another way? A way to hold pure gold in your hands, drawn directly from rock, without unleashing toxins that linger for generations? Welcome to EGS Pro, where we strip away the myths, expose the secrets, and guide you to the truth of natural gold recovery. Responsible, powerful, and surprisingly simple. The question isn't whether gold can be recovered without toxic methods. The real question is, why has the world been convinced for so long that it couldn't? Imagine this, a prospector deep in the mountains pries open a seam of quartz studded rock. Instead of reaching for mercury, instead of pouring cyanide into a barrel, he simply relies on a method so clean, so natural, it leaves behind nothing but stone and glittering gold. This isn't just fantasy, it's the future of gold recovery and it starts with tools and techniques that anyone can understand. Now let's journey back in time, because before chemistry labs and industrial mining complexes, our ancestors still managed to pull gold from rock. How did they do it? They hammered, they crushed, and they let the forces of gravity do the rest. Long before toxic shortcuts existed, nature itself provided the blueprint. And in that blueprint, there are clues Clues that can change the way we recover gold today. Picture ancient miners along a river, pounding ore with stone hammers, their faces illuminated by firelight as flakes of gold slowly reveal themselves in crushed rock. They didn't poison their waters. They didn't burn their future. They relied on the oldest principle of all. Gold is heavy, and nature will always separate the heavy from the light. That same principle, gravity, remains the cornerstone of every safe and non-toxic method of recovery. But here's where the story grows more compelling. Because in the modern world, we have affordable tools that amplify what ancient miners already knew. A simple hand-powered crusher can turn stubborn ore into dust. A carefully designed sluice or pan can trap the gold that naturally sinks, leaving lighter rock to wash away. Nothing toxic, nothing harmful, just the timeless partnership between prospector and nature. But let's not stop at the basics, because real recovery demands real insight. You see, not all gold reveals itself easily. Some hides in microscopic veins, locked within stone so stubborn it resists at every strike. The toxic path would dissolve it with chemicals. But the clean path, it demands patience, creativity, and an understanding of rock itself. That's where crushing, Grinding and gravity concentration come together in ways most people overlook. This is where the suspense deepens. Imagine holding a chunk of ore. To the untrained eye, it's just stone. Ordinary. Rough. Unremarkable. But you know the secret. Within that rock could be flecks of gold so fine they could pass through your fingers unseen. Now the challenge is clear. How do you free it without unleashing poison? The answer lies in three steps. First, liberation, breaking the rock down until the gold is exposed. Second, concentration, separating the heavy from the light, the precious from the worthless. And third, collection, capturing every last particle so nothing is lost. All three steps can be done with tools so simple they fit into a backpack, tools that respect the earth while still delivering pure gold into your hands. And let's not forget, the world is watching Gold buyers, investors, even governments are beginning to demand ethical gold. They don't just want metal, they want a story. They want to know it came from hands that didn't poison rivers, from methods that didn't scar the land. That demand means opportunity. If you can master non-toxic recovery, you don't just have gold. You have gold that commands respect, value, and often a higher price. But here's the twist that makes this story so urgent. While massive mining companies cling to toxic methods, small-scale prospectors, those with nothing more than hand tools and determination, are proving the old ways still work. Every time a rock is crushed, every time gold dust gathers in a pan, 
without chemicals, a quiet revolution unfolds. It's proof that recovering pure gold doesn't have to come at the world's expense. Still, it's not without challenge. Clean methods require labor. They demand precision. And above all, they demand that you trust nature's laws of density and separation. The easy road has always been chemical shortcuts. But the true prospector, the wise one, knows that shortcuts are illusions. Real gold recovery honors the earth and the process. And when that gleaming metal is finally freed, the reward feels purer than the gold itself. So ask yourself, if you held a choice between a golden future, poisoned by shortcuts, and one forged by patience, persistence, and clean methods, which would you choose? Because the truth is this, the tools are here, the knowledge is ancient, and the gold, waiting silently within stone, has been calling all along. And right now on EGS Pro, we're pulling back the curtain. We'll uncover the non-toxic techniques that actually work, the overlooked tools that give small-scale prospectors a massive edge, and the secrets buried deep in rock that no chemical drum could ever replace. Because in the end, the story of gold isn't just about wealth, it's about survival, ethics, and the bond between humans and the earth they walk upon. Recovering gold without toxins isn't just possible, it's the way forward. And if you're willing to listen to the stone, to trust the weight of gold itself, you're already halfway there. The question now is, how far are you willing to go to uncover it? Stay with us because the deeper we go, the clearer the gold will shine. Because the truth is simple. Every strike of the hammer, every swirl of the pan, every careful wash of crushed ore tells you the same story. Gold belongs to those who respect its weight, not to those who poison the earth to claim it. Picture this scene. You've taken a piece of quartz-rich ore, broken it down with a handheld crusher until it crumbles to dust. You pour the powder into your pan and let water guide the story. Slowly, the lighter stone washes away. Grain by grain, the heavy matter settles. And then, like a secret whispered by the earth itself, the golden flecks emerge. No chemicals, no toxins, just gravity, patience, and persistence. And yet the suspense lingers because every prospector knows not all ore will surrender its treasure so easily. Some demand finer grinding. Some require clever tools like hand-operated concentrators or spiral wheels. These tools aren't luxuries. They're extensions of the same ancient principle. Gold is heavy and nature never lies. The more precise your tools, the cleaner your recovery. But here's the real prize. When you recover gold cleanly, you're not just holding metal. You're holding a story. Imagine walking into a buyer's office with gold you can trace, with gold that didn't destroy a river or poison a community. That story adds weight to the metal, value far beyond its carat price. Ethical gold is no longer just an idea, it's a movement and those who embrace it now stand at the front of a golden revolution. Think of it this way. For centuries, prospectors chased gold in secret, hiding their finds, protecting their methods. Today, the world demands the opposite. Transparency, responsibility, and proof that what glitters in your hand came from clean, conscious recovery. Those who adapt will thrive. Those who cling to the old toxic ways will be left behind. And that's why this moment matters. Because every pan you swirl, every rock you crush, every flake you free without poison is more than an act of recovery. It's a statement, a declaration that gold and the earth can exist together. That profit doesn't have to come at the cost of destruction. Now imagine where this journey leads. With simple, affordable tools, tools anyone can carry, you unlock not only the gold within rock, but the future of prospecting itself. You hold in your hands not just wealth, but a responsibility, a legacy. Because long after the tools rust and the rocks are silent, the rivers and lands you respected will remain. That's the real treasure. And so, as we close this journey, remember this. Gold is eternal, but how you recover it defines you. Will you take the path of shortcuts or the path of patience? Will your gold carry the stain of poison or the purity of clean recovery? The choice is yours, and the world is watching.
Here on EGS Pro, we believe the answer is clear. The future of gold isn't toxic. The future of gold is ethical, sustainable, and pure. And if you're ready to master the techniques, respect the earth, and claim the treasure hidden in stone, you are already part of that future. This is not the end. This is only the beginning. Stay curious, stay determined, and stay golden. Because out there, beyond the rivers and beneath the rocks, the earth is still whispering. And for those who know how to listen, it will always whisper gold. This is EGS Pro, where the earth speaks and you discover its secrets.